cordless and air powered nail guns are both time and labour saving tools and generally pretty reliable. So when things aren't going as expected, then it's generally due to something preventable. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to resolve those issues regardless of the power type, but more importantly how to prevent them from happening in the first place. Ah, looks like I've got a misfire, which is most likely caused by a jammed nail. Now we need to clear this straight away, because if we don't, we could make things a lot worse. There are a couple of different methods for clearing a jam, depending on the model you have, both of which are pretty straightforward. Most pneumatic and cordless nailers have a quick release system located at the front of the gun, and this is designed to make the clearing of the jams quick and easy. Before we access the jam nail though, we have to take the pressure off the magazine first. Then we can open up the quick release and work at getting that nail out of there. Once open, use a flat bladed screwdriver to push the firing mechanism back up into place. This will then give you access to the jam nail, which you may need a pair of pliers to help pull out. If your model doesn't have a quick release, like these, then you're going to have to access the nail a little bit differently. To do that, we're firstly going to remove the nails out of the gun. That'll give us access to the jammed nail. Using a flat bladed screwdriver, we'll be able to pry it out and you'll be good to go again. Now that we know how to clear a jam, let's look at some other common issues you might have and how to prevent them. All powered nailers use collated nails. Now these are glued together to a specific angle and this angle can vary between model types and in some cases brands. Now it's very important to ensure you only use the right nail for the right gun. Using the wrong nail, even if it's off by one degree, can cause issues with the gun. It may jam or it may not even fire at all. Besides the angle of collation, there's also the gauge. In other words, the thickness of the nails. And then there's the range of lengths a nailer will accept. And this information can be found in the owner's manual, or in some cases, on the tool itself. And never use nails in poor condition like these because they're just going to cause you no end of grief. How nails are loaded will vary between models and types. And if not done correctly, can cause issues. Some models are loaded from the rear by pulling the tensioner back, dropping in the nails and then releasing the tensioner. Other models are side loading where you open the magazine and just pop the nails in like so. Some pneumatic models accept both nails and staples. The nails are loaded here on the side, while the staples are loaded here on the top. And with three and one models like this, the thicker gauge nails, well they just load in the top. Now, if you're having issues with nails not firing all the way in like this, there's a couple of things that we can check. All pneumatic nailers have a range of working pressure to make them operate correctly. Now, when it comes to setting that pressure, we need to come across to our compressor to ensure that the gauge is set at the right PSI. So for nail guns, if the pressure is set too low on your compressor, it could actually cause the gun to misfire or even jam. Check the compressor's outlet pressure is set within the tool's working range. And if you've got a cordless model like this one, always check the battery to make sure you've got enough charge. Just like that. Because if you don't, you could end up with the same issues as the pneumatic guns. Now another thing to check on your cordless nail guns is the power adjustment. Make sure that's set to suit your application. Now, improper technique with a gun can cause this sort of thing. So to use a gun correctly, it's a matter of holding it nice and vertical, depressing the safety trigger down, and with a nice firm hold on the back, you'll end up with a perfect nail every time. All nailers will have an adjustment so that you can vary the depth the nail can be driven into. On cordless models, you've got an adjustment just on the front here. When it comes to your pneumatic models, generally located just under the trigger. The higher the setting, the harder the striking force. 
which will be required when driving longer nails or going into harder materials. To ensure your nails drive in all the way, you may have to combine the adjustment of the depth setting and the power setting to make sure it drives nice and flush. Now this can be done with a bit of trial and error from some scrap timber, just like this. Now the last point I'd like to cover with you is just some basic maintenance when it comes to your nail guns, especially the collated nails, because these have glue on them, and that glue can build up in your magazines over time. So to clean that, we just grab a little bit of lubricant spray, spray it in there, grab a rag, and just wipe it clean. Now if your model has a quick release jam system like this unit, you just open it up, put a bit of spray on your rag this time, and just wipe that clean. The last bit of maintenance you'll need to do on your pneumatic nailers is put a couple of drops of machine oil into your inlet. Just like that before every use. This will help to lubricate all of your moving parts and minimise any rust buildup. And remember, if you're doing any work or maintenance on your nail guns, make sure that you disconnect the air supply or take the battery out of your cordless units. Ryobi, a cut above.